let's quickly cover how we're going to merge memories for Snapchats that are longer than 10 seconds. Remember that they're going to be fragmented into 10 second chunks or less. Taking a quick look back at this JSON file with our memories history, I have an example where Snapchat has done this, where it's fragmented into three parts. So you can see that I have a memory two years ago on June 30th. Um, it's in UTC time, but you can see that they're all within 10 seconds of each other, these three videos. So we have some suspicion here that we should merge these together because, you know, who would want to click on a video three times to watch a single memory? I have some visual uh, for how we can do this, some logic. And let's take a quick look. So say we have three memories, A, B, and C respectively. And let's just say A and B are, you know, within 10 seconds of each other, less than or equal to. Then we can use FFmpeg to take both videos and merge them together. And then the result is memory A and B, and then you'll have memory C left alone. Another situation is let's say A and B are should be merged, and then let's say B and C should also be merged. We need to take that into account because you know you could take up to a minute of a uh, Snapchat, you know, save that as a memory up to 60 seconds. So we'll again call on FFmpeg and the result should be a merged three videos into one, A, B, and C. All right, you know what time it is. Let's merge some memories. We're gonna make a file called mergememories.py and let's start with our imports. So we're gonna import OS, a submodule from OS we need is gonna be path. So from OS import path, and then we're also gonna import date time. Uh, so from the date time module, we'll import the date time class so that we can compare two memories based on time. All right, now that that's done, let's go ahead and define a class right here. So we'll do class memories merger. This will have all the logic for merging memories. Um, some class variables we should have. Uh, first is gonna be a array or list called files to merge. And we'll populate this over time as we compare memories. And if two memories need to be merged, we'll add them to this array. Another thing we're going to do is the uh, path to merged folder. And the user will supply this. So when we want to output the merged files to somewhere, we'll, we'll keep track of that. And this is going to be a string. So I'll initially assign it to none. Let's output our merged files into this merged folder that I just created on the left side. <clears throat> so we'll do that. Uh, when we create a object from this class. Next is going to be the path to the memories. So these are this is the path to the already downloaded memories. Also will be supplied by the user. And last but not least, let's define one more array called memories. And that's going to hold all the file names of the videos that are in this directory. See that in a moment. Now let's do a constructor. In it. Okay, and uh, in this init constr in this uh, constructor, let's take two parameters. Uh, first one's going to be path to memories, and the next one we can do path to merged folder. And then we'll just define or we'll assign the uh, class variables to each parameter respectively. Path to merged folder equal to that. All right. Next, what do you think the next function is? Just like all the other classes, we need to load that JSON. But since it's our last class, why don't we switch it up and call it load memories? Why not? Don't need a parameter here. We've done this before in the other classes. Let me close the terminal. Okay. Um, so we'll make use of the, uh, we'll assign the memories array here and we'll do some list comprehension. So we'll do memory for memory memory in the uh, directory that the user supplied. So os.list here we'll do self.path to memories. And then one conditional is going to be for if that file name in the directory we're listing files from has .mp4 in it. Because it only makes sense to keep track of, you know, .mp4 files, right? There's really no point to do it for JPEGs. What's the point of merging that? Okay, great. All right, now let's 
do one more thing, which we need to sort the memories array. It's going to be an array of strings. So we can do self.memories equals call this helper function sorted. It's uh, supplied by Python. And then we'll just pass in self.memories. This will sort it in date by uh, ascending or descending order. So that way comparing two dates will be a lot easier. Cool. Now we're going to do some helper functions. We're going to have one main function that's going to iterate over all the files and handle the merge. But in order to not make that code so ugly, let's uh, do some helper functions to kind of abstract different things that we're going to use more than once. So first one I'm going to do is going to be called should merge. And this is just going to take two files or two uh, file names. So I'll call it memory A, memory B. And if you take a look here, let's make this big. The um, You can imagine that we're going to be comparing two memories at a time. So like A and B get compared, then B and C get compared. And when we want to you know, see if we should merge, we'll call this should merge function right here. So I'm going to define two variables, which are just going to be dates. And this is where we're going to make use of the date time that we imported up top. So I'll just do date time dot strp time. And um, we need to basically take the file name, which is a string, and convert it to a date object. And we can see that on the left of the period, we have day comma time. So we can make use of that right here to convert it. So we're going to split memory A by the uh, period, right? And then the left side of that period is all this. So we'll get the first element. And then let's do the format which you specify over here with percents and characters. So it's capital Y for year, lowercase m for month, and then percent D for day, right? And then we have a comma. And then we'll come next. It's going to be hour, which is capital H. And then it's going to be minute. And last but not least, capital S for second. All right, let's do the same thing for day B. But guess what? I don't want to rewrite that. So let's just steal it from the top and then just change it to B respectively. Okay, so just change date A and memory A to B respectively. Awesome. And then we need to return a Boolean obviously. So let's just return, we can do the absolute value of the difference between the dates. And uh, date time has this really cool built-in functionality where if you subtract or add two dates together, you can do dot seconds like that. And if the seconds is less than or equal to 10, then we know we should merge. And that's that. Great. Um, one more function, or two more functions we should make. But the first one is going to be the handle merge. So say we realize that memory A and B are you know, needed to be put into one. We'll call the handle merge function, which will call FFmpeg. And that will go ahead and we'll have this result A and B together. All right, so handle merge, don't need a parameter, just self. And uh, here's where we're going to make use of the os.system, os, .system. OS uh, module. So os.system, and this is a pretty complex command, so stand back. I'm going to use an f string since we're going to insert some things here. So we'll do ffmpeg dash f concat dash safe zero dash i merge list.txt. I know that I mentioned up here is going to be an array um, that we're going to add to for you know all files that need to be merged for a specific memory. Um, but we need to do one more thing, which is also create this txt file. We just need to create it. We don't need to put anything in there because ffmpeg will uh, just read from it and we'll write to it um, without doing it manually. So we're going to write the file names to this file as well as adding them to the array up top. So we'll call it, we'll use that merge list.txt dash c copy. I'll make a new line because it's getting pretty long. Um, now we're gonna do this. So we'll make use of the path submodule. So path.join. Let's do self.path to merged folder. And then the first element in the files to merge array. Let me add a space here. Oops. So basically what's going on here is um, we're going to take all the all the files in merge list and then we're going to output them to a new memory which is going to be in the merged folder and then we'll just give it the name which is uh, whatever is the first element in the array okay um, 
after we merge things, we definitely want to clear the contents of merge list.txt because you know we don't want to have to remerge or merge things twice, right? Because once we uh, once we you know put the memory into one, we can move on to compare other things. So you can just echo nothing into a merge list, and then let's also do self dot files to merge. Let's clear it so the contents are empty. Man, my allergies acting up, man. Sorry about that. Um, okay, last helper function. This will just be uh, add to merge list. And this is when we're going to take a memory that should be added to the merge list. So say memory A and B need to be merged. We'll call this function add to merge list. We'll add A and B and we'll move on. Say, for example, a, B, and C need to be merged. We'll add these guys, then we'll compare B and C, and then we'll keep going. Okay. Um, so now we'll do os.system, because we need to, we need to run a uh, terminal command. Make this on a new line. All right, cool. Now, we take a look at what we need to do. Basically, just need to echo this pattern so it's going to be echo file double escape let's do something like this we'll doubly escape it twice as you can see we had to use the two backslashes like that and what are we going to do in here we're going to just do another path dot join i will do the path to memories this time self dot path to memories and then memory that was sent in as a parameter because we want to specify the full path saying, hey, this file is going to go in the merge list txt file. And over here, we'll do two arrows to append it. So merge list.txt. One thing I forgot to mention up here on 34 is uh, the ffmpeg output can be quite a lot. So if you want to make it quiet, you can just add an arrow here to dev null. And then one more arrow on the left side, do two, and then just ampersand one. That keeps things pretty quiet. You won't get all this like crazy output. Or don't do that if you want to see it and be like, hey, man, look at my terminal. Look at all these colors. Because that's what happens. Um, now we're also going to append the um, files to merge. We're going to append the memory here. So append and then memory. That's it. OK. Lastly, we will write this function to actually merge memories now, which is great. Let's get to it. So def merge memories won't take any parameters. And this is going to just iterate over the indexes in the uh, memories array. So for i in range, the length of self dot memories, and we'll do minus one. So like I said before, it's going to go compare two at a time, A, B, B, C. So it's going to pretty much be index I and I plus one. So that's why we we, uh, we subtract it by one more instead of just doing range length. We also do minus one at the end since we're going to be, you know, let me show you. So memory A, we'll do self dot memories I, and then the other memory we want to compare, I'll just call it memory B is going to be self.memories i plus 1. Cool. And now we can start using our helper functions, right? So if uh, self.should merge, right? If we should merge memory A and memory B, what are we going to do? Let's just print something. Let's just say I need to merge and boom. All right. So memory A. And memory B, that's right. Okay, cool. Um, one more thing we need to do is notice how we're comparing these files two at a time. If these two need to be merged, we're adding A and B to the list. But then if B and C also need to be merged, without a proper logic, we would be adding B and C to the memory array, you know, that files to merge list. But the problem with that is, is that B is getting added twice. So let's add a quick check here so if memory a right because that could potentially be you know this is a and b for the first iteration then this is a and b for the second iteration so if memory a is not 
in self.files to merge. Then let's add it, self.add to merge list memory A, right? And then we don't need to worry about memory B. We know that won't be in there for the existing. And then memory B, cool. Okay, great. Um, now, what about the case for if we shouldn't merge? We need to check if there's anything in this array. If there is, then we will merge any files that need to. So if there is a length in self.files to merge, we'll handle the merge. Self.handle merge. That's that ffmpeg call, that very complex command. Now, there also is a case where, say, a and B, all this entire, let's just say we have a folder that only has three memories and all of them need to be merged. This final iteration of the for loop is going to check B and C, but because this else never runs, only the if runs, right? Because B and C need to be merged. We'll never actually merge those memories. It'll get stuck. So I'm just going to add one more check outside of the loop if there's any leftover. I know it's not the prettiest solution, but, you know, gets the job done. So we'll just check one more time out of this for loop. If we need to merge, then we'll go ahead and do that. All right, looks pretty good. Let's do the uh, main, it's not mean. Let's do, uh, let's do the main down here. So I'm just gonna make a uh, object variable called memory merger. I'm just gonna initialize it to memories merger. The path to memories is, for me at least, because the folder's right there. It's just gonna be dot slash memories. And the next one's gonna be dot slash merged. Okay, cool. Memory merger, We're gonna load memories, right? And last but not least, what are we doing? Memory merger is going to uh, merge memories. All right, let's get it. You ready to rock and roll? Will it work? Will we see the light of day? Here we go. Okay, that went, let's check. I see two memories right here. Let's see if this actually worked. So first, let me show you an unmerged memory. So I'm just gonna go to memories. Let's just pick this random one from 2018. I'll show you something cool. Heat rises, right? So if I put my finger around the lighter, do you think my finger's gonna get burned? Let's find out. But you can see that that's unmerged, right? So let's go ahead and watch the next memory. That's a little annoying. As you can see, my science experiment got fragmented, but that's no fun. Let's go into this merged output. Let's see what's really going on here. You ready? Obviously, you can see it's longer. It's 30 seconds. Let's watch it. We're going to do a little science experiment. My dad is making all sorts of noise right now, but I'm going to show you something cool. Heat rises, right? So if I put my finger around the lighter, do you think my finger is going to get burned? Let's find out. I'll do it to the side. Wow. Yes, we did it, man. And if you take a look at my face at the end, that just about sums up this. We've successfully generated Amazon links, downloaded our memories, and merged them as we should have. No longer are we in the mean grasps of Snapchat with these automated stories and clickbait thumbnails, whatever you want to call it. We're free. They really thought we could hold this down. But with a little creative thinking in Python, look at what we've done, man. Thank you, and I appreciate you.